Hi, I'm Teacher Jonah of Accountancy, Business, and Management. Welcome to our class in Fundamentals in Accountancy, Business, and Management 2 or Accounting 2. Actually, this is a continuation of our statement of financial position because our objective is to be able to prepare a statement of financial position or the balance sheet. But there are some questions with my students with regards to the rules of debit and credit. Okay, the technique is first you identify what type of transaction are we dealing with. First, if the transaction affects the accounting equation or it affects the asset, the liability, and the equity account, you need to analyze them. But if the transaction does, doesn't affect the accounting equation, no need to bother. What is, that ex what is an example of this? For payment of salaries, when you paid salaries to your employees, what, account, what accounts in the accounting equation are affected? The assets? What else? The expenses. Okay. Then number two, what is the movement of the account? Is it an increase or a decrease? So here comes the mastery. Here is the need for our mastery of the rules of debit and credit. Okay. Now I'm giving you here the normal balances of the accounts. We know for a fact that assets based on our accounting equation, assets are always on the left side, the credit balances are the liabilities and the equity account. So the normal balances of assets again, what is it? Debit. The normal balances of liabilities and equity accounts are credit side. These are the only three major accounts you need to memorize all throughout your career in accountancy. Okay, then what is a normal balance? The normal balance is an indicator of how we shall increase or decrease an account. Okay, let's continue. So showing you again, an illustration of the normal balance so you have memorized already right what is the normal balance of asset debit what is the normal balance of liability credit what is the normal balance of equity credit these are the three major accounts you need to memorize and the technique follows to increase the no to increase your account for example you want to increase your asset accounts you need to follow the balance of the normal balance. For example, asset, what is the normal balance of the asset? It is a debit. So to increase it, you debit it also. Okay? You follow the normal balance of such account. Okay? Liability has a credit balance. So to increase your liability, you also credit it. Equity has a credit normal balance. So to, de to increase your, your, life, your equity, I mean, you again credit it. Gets? Yes, that's just very easy. But if you want to decrease, if you want to decrease, you do the opposite. You do the opposite. For example, you want to decrease your asset, you do the opposite of debit, so you credit. To decrease your liability, you debit. To decrease your equity, you debit. So when decreasing such an account, you do the opposite of the normal balance. Yes, yes, I know you can get it. Now, here is an illustration again. I put it in an illustration so maybe those visual students can analyze by the drawing. And then this is a the account on the left is your debit on the on the right is the credit side you will notice that on the asset account opposite the asset account is a contra asset account and we know we, we studied the other day that contra asset accounts are the allowance for doubtful accounts and allowance for depreciation from the word itself contra so it deducts your asset balances so you do a 
credit because you increase you debit to deduct you credit okay next the liabilities okay there, there is no contract for liability but you should take note that a liability has a credit account and to decrease to decrease your liability you do a debit now follows the equity account the equity account we have to take note that the equity account has a credit balance okay but when you deduct account in your in your in your equity you do a withdrawal that is called the drawing so to deduct your equity account what do you do again you do a debit through the drawing account and also in the equity account we have letter a the income and the sales okay the income and the sales because these two these two accounts are under the equity so they are also credit normal balances so income and sales are credit normal balances take note of that and if we want to decrease our income we incur expenses so we debit the expenses okay sales is also an equity account okay but if you want to decrease our sales through our purchases or through our oh yes purchases and yes this is the account mostly affected the pur the purchase of merchant merchandise the cost of the merchandise so we go back to debiting the cost or the purchases itself the purchase account itself okay so that's it an illustration of again then I prepared something here a short a short exercise for us okay my dear students this is activity 2 wherein you will prepare the journal entries the ledger the trial balance and the statement of financial position okay you will be directed by the ah uh, yeah I, I think I prepared also the answers for that okay let us see invested hundred thousand for his trading business now let us analyze all together when when the when the bis, when the owner invested hundred thousand so the business received what yes the business received cash so you debit cash hundred thousand there is an increase in the asset account remember debit asset is a debit normal balance then the equity is a credit normal balance so you debit your 100,000 and your you credit your equity of 100,000 number 2 bought equipment for cash 50,000 so the company bought equipment equipment is an asset account so you decrease you increase your asset so you put it on the debit side so equipment 50,000 why did we reduce your another form of asset of cash because you need to pay for the equipment so your cash is reduced so that means you credit it then you borrowed 1 million at the bank when you borrowed money at the bank i mean when the company borrowed money at the bank what did the bank what did the company receive he received a cash that's an asset so you increase your asset by in the form of cash by 1 million However, you also incurred liabilities. So you credit your loan payable to the bank of 1 million. Remember, loan payable or liability is a credit normal balance. The next is you received cash sales of 2 million. So when you receive cash sales, you increase your asset account of cash. So that means you debit your cash, an increase in cash account, and a credit balance of sales because this is the normal credit balance of sales of two million okay i know it's getting easier now next number five is you paid your meralco three thousand so that is an expense account again where do we put expense account in the debit balance so you debit utilities accounts three thousand and the, a reduction in your cash of three thousand because you paid meralco number six withdrawal of five thousand for his personal needs okay the owner needs maybe pocket money so he withdrew a deduction to your 
equity account is a debit in the form of a drawing account. So when you withdraw money, you reduce your cash in the company. So in the trading business. So you, you reduce your cash or credit it by 5000 Next is you need to purchase merchandise for your trading business. So he purchased merchandise, 30000 but paid half only and the other half on account. So again, we debit the purchases of merchandise, debit purchases of 30000 and because you paid cash, half of the 30000 so you credit cash, a reduction in your cash of 15000 and you incurred liability of 15000 which is a normal credit balance. Then the next is you paid half of bank loan. How much was the bank loan? I think it was $1 million. So loans payable. Why did the debit loans payable? The normal balance of loans payable is credit. But because we want to reduce your, your loans, we have to do the opposite. We debit it. So loans payable, debit bank, 500000 And because you deducted cash because you need to pay your bank, so there is a reduction of your cash account of 500000 Getting easier, right? Now, I'm leaving here an activity too. We're in the same thing. You will be guided by the problem I have given you earlier. And you can submit this in our Google Classroom. Okay? The, the same problem, the same. But what we will do is we will do the journal entries, the ledger, the trial balance, and finally, the statement of financial position in account form and in report form. Okay? So... That ends our lesson for today, and thank you so much. See you on our next lesson. Always at your service, ADM, ni Teacher Jonah. God bless everyone.